well. Today was great. You know, we just wanted to show show off the good the parts that everybody knows. He's got a huge arm. He can throw it really hard. He can throw it really far. But we also wanted to show that he can temple the football. He can control it. He can throw with anticipation. And he can layer it in there. Because when you get to the NFL, the majority of the throws are kind of layered balls. They're not, you know, starters in the NFL, they don't throw the ball as hard as they can 20 times a game. You look at the tape and you say, what area can this guy improve upon? And I think it's very clear he's working with Jordan Palmer to get his base set and, and just to clean up a little bit of his footwork so that he can, he can be more consistently accurate when the bullets do start to fly. And, and we saw a progression there. I mean, he's... He's got as big an arm as you can possibly have. We knew that coming in, but I think the short to intermediate throws and a little bit more touch on those throws were the two things really stood out to me. Here's Allen. Back by the 50. And now he'll throw it, show you the arm straight. End zone, back to the end zone, caught! Touchdown! You know, I mean, obviously the first thing that you see is the arm. You know, as, as Coach Bull says, you can kind of hear the throws, but more than hearing is seeing, and seeing is believing. I mean, those 80-yard throws across the field, I mean, you know, there's no one else that really does that. I love his leadership traits, which is just honesty and loyalty. Um, he's a bad dude, I wouldn't mess with him, but he's also a really, really nice guy, and uh, he treats everybody with respect, and I just think that's so important. Arm talent's important, size is important, accuracy, all those things, but you just have to be that type of leader to get a bunch of grown men to follow you, and, and he'll do that. Did he do well? <laughs> I'm just so impressed with, with this young man, and, and you know, he, he kind of went from a, a curiosity from a non-power five school to a six foot five, 237 yeah. arm talent kid with, with great physical ability that I keep trying to tell people in the scouting community, you want to check boxes. And I think the kid has checked every box. The senior bowl, bang, great job. Combine, did a wonderful job, especially in the meetings at night. And then to come out here today with the Cleveland Browns and the Giants and the Jets, the GMs, the head coaches, he checked another box. And I'd be really surprised if he doesn't go in the first five picks. You know, the, 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 the clubs that are really searching for a high draft choice, and I know a lot of these guys, and I can tell you they're playing poker right now. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody's really talking. That surprises me because usually I know these guys well enough. Somebody's going to tip their hand, and nobody's <laughs> tipping their hand. I think what it is showing me, though, is the future for Josh looks extremely bright.